students. Yes, it is I, Theresa Thesaurus, <laughs> daughter of Rajat. <sighs> Yes, on his deathbed, my celebrated father said to me, Theresa, Theresa, go forth, go forth and prove that English is a sacred language, as Sanskrit is a sacred language, as Hebrew is a sacred language, so too English, although constantly changed, reinforced, elevated, and debased by its rise from the gutter, still English too, every syllable is sacred. So I did what my sainted father told me, and I discovered that not only is English a sacred language, it is a language of the goddess. Yes, in every phrase, even the most banal, even the most annoying, there is a message from the divine feminine. Oh, maybe you don't believe me. Well, we will prove it now. So what I'm going to need from you, and think for a second, you have time. I want you to think of a saying or a cliche, a prosaic saying, especially something that annoys you. For example, don't count your chickens before they're hatched, which someone says to you when you're so excited about something, or no use crying over spilt milk when your heart is broken, something like that. Or because it's, uh, now it's pride, maybe something people say homophobically. Anything at all, and we will find the message from the goddess within. So have you thought of something that annoys you? Are you a woman or a man? Are you a woman or a man? All right. Are you a woman? or a man, or a mouse. <laughs> All right. Are you a woman or a man, or, oh, <laughs> well, I added that because I needed a few more words. <laughs> Are you a woman, or a man, or a mouse? Let's see what the goddess has to say to us. Well, she starts with ah, the beginning, <laughs> the aleph, the very beginning, and something we can all say together. Let's go ah. 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 Yes, and she answers us. She says, regarding your question, <laughs> why? Why do you ask this of me? Why, oh, you. Oh, you silly thing. That's a good response when someone says, are you a woman or a mouse? Or are you a woman or a man? You say, oh, you, you. And then you say, ah. I stand in awe of the place where we are all woman, all man, all mouse. I stand in awe of the great O, oh, the great void, the great circle of life where inside we are empty yet blazing with life and outside woman, man, or mouse, we are all together. And we must remember that the base of woman and man is Ma, the great <laughs> mother. We all come from Ma and we know it. Nor do we doubt it, no. Nor do we doubt it. Like Nora of the doll's house who had to escape. We will not be confined. We am what we am. That's all that we am. We am woman, we am man, we am mouse. And we always remember we come from, we come from Ma. And here again, let's go ah. when they try to ram us with their narrow definitions, when their indecision bothers us, we can just go, oh, you. Because there is us. There is the great us. All of us. See? <laughs>